Hi, this is Dr. Gary. Welcome to the Daily Tune-Up today. This week has been an interesting week. As we're getting into the new year, we've talked about a lot of things that have obviously struck a lot of nerves with some of you. And normally I don't talk about this, but I'm going to today because I am so curious on the intentions of some people. I got an email, actually it was a comment on the YouTube post on one of our tune-ups this week and it was such a cynical remark I just simply deleted it and looked at who sent it and someone out there in the ether sent this email that said okay so you face your fear and then uh, you're okay so now I'm a doctor you know I understand how some people can be upset about a lot of things right now what I do not understand is when someone like myself is giving information and attempting to help as many people as possible and then a person who obviously needs the help the most doesn't get it and sends a snide comment such as that. I want all of you to realize that I'm doing this because there's a lot of you out there I know cannot afford to go seek help from a professional. I work with people here in my office every day. I'm not doing this to be a hero. I want to talk directly to that person who sent that text or that comment on our YouTube post. I'm doing this because there's people just like you out there who seem to be confused, seem to be really mad, really upset, and really, really disturbed about people that can actually rise above the mediocrity of being depressed and being a victim and actually want to do something about it in their life. If you think sending me that comment is going to stop anything or if you think being cynical when somebody like myself or anyone else is reaching out to help as many people as possible is going to do anything other than chastise you and even separate you more from what you want it's just not productive energy. I understand how people can look at me on here and become angry sometimes. I say a lot of things that probably strike a lot of nerves. That's kind of what I do. Understand that I've come from a place myself that was angry, upset, toxic. And over the years, I've worked at healing myself. And I was so inspired by the man who helped me, I decided I wanted to do something with my life to help other people and I changed careers from the media business and got into this business. Today each one of us I realize have people like that in our lives that look at us and make fun of us, chastise us, attempt to belittle us and degrade us and if you have someone like that in your life and you're not putting yourself out there like I am where people it's easy to take pot shots at me. I'm a pretty big target. But you'll notice in your life there's always someone there that's a naysayer, that's negative, that doesn't do anything to make you feel good about yourself or even compliment the good things that you're doing to help other people. They're just selfish. They're narcissistic and they think their cynical attitude is gonna help somewhere and really all it's doing is hurting them more and you have a great veil you can put over yourself to shield yourself from that. At least you're not living in their body. Today, if you have someone like that in your life, what I want you to do first of all is forgive them. Understand that they're unhappy. And when they see other people attempting to make a difference in the world and they're unable to do that themselves because of their state of mind, they have to have positive energy focused at them. And that's exactly what I'm doing right now at that person who wrote me. That doesn't happen very often. But once in a while I get that. But I had to comment on it today because I recognize in our state of mind, in the state of the world right now, there's more of this now. As I talked yesterday about people irritating you, obviously 
I irritate a lot of people. And you probably do too. So understand, if you're doing something to irritate someone, take responsibility for it, and then re-examine what you're doing, and then do it better. If you haven't done anything to offend that person and you apologize and let them understand your intention is only to help and then they still want to do that, that's not your problem, that's their problem and they ought to seek help. So we're going into the weekend right now. We're right in the middle of January. How are those New Year's resolutions going for you? Let's focus on being good people. Let's rise above the mediocrity and when people take a pot shot at you, Stand tall, be proud of who you are, take responsibility for what you created, and move forward. So until next week, this is Dr. Gary telling each one of you, even those that take pot shots at me, I do appreciate you, and I appreciate it because it keeps me up on my game. So until Monday, this is Dr. Gary wishing you an extraordinary day. Bye-bye.